Hello YouTube, um, this is a quick video just to uh, demonstrate the uh, the K3NG antenna rotator and um, there it is. If you excuse the bird nest full of wires, you've got just a, uh, a Arduino sort of um, compatible relay board. There's an Arduino 2560, the genuine article is that one. Um, some transistors um, because they go uh, high so these go low which works on a grounding system so when these pins get grounded that um, shorts the relay so uh, there's my antenna rotator this is the display which shows azimuth of just about one and an elevation of just about one which confirms over here but if you ignore the, the 180 degrees because it wouldn't um, it wouldn't know where the centre was if he was if he was anywhere else. He wouldn't know that the centre was. Um, this is you know if you had a, a round a round circular, um, then it would assume that north is north where this is north is actually south. If that makes any sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and track this satellite. Yeah. Satellite Genesis is visible. So we can see Genesis is visible right here. So what we do now we go up to our tuning dial here. I click on receive because we do want to receive this but what is quite important here as you can see this window it tells us that we need a 7.2 degrees and 73 um, uh, azimuth there so 7.1 7 degrees elevation and then we can see our, uh, our uplink and downlink information we're not too worried about that right now because we've got no antenna attached so we go on to our ham radio deluxe program here and then we See, this is when we click on our DDE track. If you clicked on beforehand, it would um, be a go a bit crazy. And I'm actually using Orbitron to track because I, uh, you know, it says recommended HRD sat track, and I find it's rubbish. It doesn't really work at all well. So I either use Nova or Orbitron. And I'm just going to click sat track now. And there we are. So we're rotating to 67. We have an elevation of 4.7. As we look at our meter over here, in a second now we should be at 67. As you can see, the relay for the counterclockwise is lit. These are all opto isolated, so they were pretty good. And we see our Arduino blink in there, and there's our elevation quickly going up because we were uh, the satellite is obviously moving, and it will do its best to track it across the sky. So there we are when we get round to uh, desired 62, which is any second now. It should stop. 61 now because we are actually moving. And there we are. But I've uh, adjusted the sampling on this, so I've had a little fiddle about with the sampling. So this may, um, it's trying to sample just simply too quickly instead of taking an average. Um, it's, it's you know receiving so many samples that he's trying to correct by the time it's averaged out the the um, the actual azimuth angle has changed. So we'll, we'll get into the software and change the sampling there. Um, so the average is a bit longer. So we're taking a really short average. So there we are. We quick loops. If we quickly have a look here. This is important data at the bottom of the screen. There you are. Elevation rotator. Genesis is not visible. And we know our satellite Genesis has now gone out of view. So if we go back up here, as you see, there's my house, and there's our ring of visibility around here. Oops, there we are. There's our ring of visibility. It's sort of it is just on the edge of view. It's the elevation. See, most satellites will always be in view as far as azimuth is concerned. It's the elevation when they go beyond the horizon as such. Um, I'm I'm a little confused with that myself because it sort of looks just about its overhead, but it is. Um, as far as elevation is concerned, it would it thinks it's beyond the horizon. So, um, so there you are. But let's uh, we'll stop tracking that for a time being, and we'll see if we can pick up another satellite quickly before this video runs out. So we'll lose Genesis. Thank you very much indeed. Don't forget to keep updating your Kepler data as well, because there's certain you know predictions there. We'll predict where the satellite is in the sky. Otherwise, you know you'll be looking. Um, in a totally the wrong area if the you know if the things change so let's uh let's have a look and you've got your obviously your find next and here's our next satellite 55 we are 52 so we should be able to track this satellite satellite there. cosmos is visible satellite cosmos is invisible so we go back up to tuning dial 
we click on RX, it should actually link up with Rotator now and work pretty well, so we'll give it a try. And there we are. 36 and 5.1 elevation. So you're going to see a lot of these satellites won't be just passing overhead, they'll be you know, pretty much on the horizon most of the time. And that tallies up with that. So there you go, an inexpensive um, antenna controller. Um, a lot cheaper than the £600 that Yezu want. And um, a lot more um, software friendly if you like so you can play about with you know most of the bits and pieces there I will say that this is um, this is a, a pretty unstable as the um, other readings so you know you, you need to use a couple of caps to sort things out there so there and this is just a preset so I can um, this is something you don't get on the you know you might get this on your rotator controller here but you don't get it on the um, GS232B box as far as I know but you can actually set this say I want to set this for 10 degrees I can just turn this for 10 if you say you want to set it for 50 degrees I just turn this dial and it will go but at the moment we're tracking satellites so whatever I try to set this at is going to 